the Senior Summit. We're leaving town, baby. Hi, I'm Bonnie Francis, and we're here interviewing Joyce Davis, who works for it's Queen Anne's County Social S Service. Services. And um, they will be out at the Senior Summit, which is May 18th. Here's the flyer on it, 9 to 2, out at the 4-H Park. And there are a lot of different booths that come out there. So tell us what your booth is going to have while you're out there. Okay, Our booth will have a number of different programs that are from social services. We will have adult services, we will have the energy assistance program, and we will have the FIA program, which is the one that produces food stamps okay. and medical assistance. So we'll have people there representing those, that program. The energy assistance program, which provides for electric help and fuel help, will be there as well. And then the social services to adults program. Social services to adults is a program that is for anybody who is 18 and older who does not have a minor child to be responsible for. And the idea behind this program is to achieve and maintain self-sufficiency for a vulnerable adult in the community. Okay. We don't want to take away their family's responsibility. We just want to supplement that. Right. So tell us uh, at the booth itself, will there just be flyers? Will there be counselors? I mean, sometimes some of those programs, just like energy efficiency, there's forms to fill out. And older adults right. need help understanding what information right. you need. Right. We will have um, the forms for energy assistance. The summit will be actually towards the end of our program year for energy assistance because the last day to apply for help with your electric will be May 31st. Okay. And at the time of the summit, we will be at the point where if you want to apply and you need to apply, you will have to bring in that application with all of the needed documentation, which would be social security cards, any proof of income, your electric bill, so that we can process it that very day that you bring it in. But we will have people out there from that program who will be more than willing to help the so senior. So they have a form that says all the things that right. they need to bring, and then maybe they could make an appointment with your office the next week or, or something? Or they could actually just walk in. Oh, we, okay. We'll ta we take walk-ins for that program. Okay. And if they come in, they have, especially if they have a cutoff notice, they need to come in with all that documentation so that we can go ahead and do the application and get it completed. If they've already applied for this year, which would be any time from July 1st of 2017 until now, mm -hmm. then they wouldn't be eligible for any additional money until after July 1st of 2018. Okay. But now, do they have to have proof of residency? They is should. It, have I mean, proof is this just Queen Anne's County? Right. This this is just in Queen Anne's County. The program is throughout the state, right. but we only deal with people in Queen Anne's County. So yes, they would need like a copy of their lease or, um, you know, their tax bill or something along that line that would show that this is where they live. And and can they get that information on a computer? Like, let's say someone doesn't get out to the summit. I mean, we're here mm -hmm. hoping they do come out, but if they don't and they see this program and think, hey, that's something that Joe down the road could use or something, they know somebody that needs some help. Mm -hmm. um, could they get on the website and get information or is it best to make a phone call? It's what? probably best to make a phone call because currently, as of like today, mm -hmm. you can still get on a program called My DHR which is a computer program that allows you to apply both for food stamps and other programs from the FIA side and also for energy assistance. Okay. But after the 16th of May, they will shut down in the computer system for energy assistance online and you'll need to be able to come into the office or mail everything in to us. Okay. So if now, why don't, why don't you tell people where your office is? Okay, we're located at 125 Comet Drive, which if you know where the new YMCA is, we're right next door. Right. So, out there by Food Lion. 
Yeah. So we're right there. and By Queenstown Bank, you turn at the right, light and, exactly. and head back. Yes, we're back there. Um, our office is open from 8 to 4.30 every day, Monday through Friday. And there are people there at those hours to answer your questions and take any information that you have and to help you fill out applications if you need that. We also, um, of course, there's food, besides the food stamps, there's medical assistance applications that can be completed there for the uh, older adults, especially um, because there are some programs for older adults who have limited income to help them with the payment for their Medicare premiums. Oh, okay, didn't um, know that. And um, depending on what your income is, it might pay your whole Medicare premium, it might pay your Medicare premium and your deductibles. It just, those two programs are very much based on your income. Now, I, I used to take a lady that I would help in to see a benefits counselor mm -hmm. when open enrollment was, right? and she would have to choose her program. Now, once someone does that, could they come and see you then to see if there's assistance they could get maybe to help with that payment? Yes. Um, we work very closely with the ladies from the Office on Aging's mm -hmm. benefits counselors, and they are very good at referring people over to us. Okay. If they need to, they think that those people meet the qualifications for those other programs. Yeah, because I know she used to go in there every year to see if she should stay on the program she's in or if there was something out there that, and if her medicine changed. Right. I mean, that's the other thing. Sometimes things happen and your doctor changes up medical things that you now need to take. And so that could change your program. Right, it could change your pharmacy program. It could change the um, supplemental insurance that you have because every year you need to reassess it. Um, right. Is it the same way with food stamps? Does no, no, food stamps are, um, it's income based, but you, if you're, if you just come in and apply, and especially an older person who has a set income, it's going to be like once a year that they could come in and apply. And now they actually, I think, do some of it by telephone and by the mail. Really? So that's the way that's being done. So, you know, and it helps the older people. I mean, they, you know, they're not, they don't always get very much in the amount of food stamps that they well, get. Well, some of them have problem coming into your office. Right. They don't have the transportation. So they can do, um, they have been doing telephone interviews with these people, which is good. Like you said, they don't have transportation to get into our office. Right. So, so anything else at the summit that... Well, we'll have lots of giveaways at our table. Okay. So people need to stop by. They need to stop by and see us. And like I said, the people that will be there, they're more than willing to answer anybody's questions. And if they don't know the answer, they're going to tell you they don't, but they'll tell you who to get in touch with in our office. Okay. You want to give them your number? Okay. Our office number is 410-758-8000. And like I said, we're open 8 to 430, Monday through Friday. Well, we thank you for coming in and come out to the summit and stop by our booth and see what they have to offer. Yes. If you have any questions, you know, you can talk to them there. Yes. Thank you for having us. All right, dear. Thank you. Thank you. Friday, May 18th, from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. At, at the Queen Anne's County 4-H Park. Park. Woo!